the road to recovery. I'm two sets in of cardio and what I'm doing is high intensive interval training. So we're going to do 20 calories on the rower, then we're going to do 20 kettlebell swings and then rest so we'll catch my breath and then jump back in again and eventually I want to be able to rest less It'll be 30 seconds between each each interval but this is the first day of the road to recovery to try and fix my nerve damage in my back and many other issues I've got going on at the moment but I'm not one to ever say quit or ever to back down so let's fight and let's do this
Vespla. It's fucking terrible. At the moment, I'm sitting at about two. Oh, where am I? 220 pounds. It's over 100 kilos. And I'm gonna try to bring that down to uh, 95. Uh, mainly on a ketogenic diet. But today is Sunday. And I'm gonna have a hard cry evening. I don't believe in cheat days. Um, if I can have a couple of meals in the space of two hours, which are really carby, but not too much sugar. So maybe just even something simple like chips will satisfy me a lot. And then maybe a little bit of cake, because I love cake. Anyway, I'm literally two, three rounds into this and I'm already exhausted. I'm also fasted. I've not eaten anything since last night before I went to sleep. I've only had green tea today. Um, so yeah, I'm completely fasted and I'm already sweating, so this is good. The uh, road to recovery is on the way. I've got an MRI scan coming up, and hopefully we can fix the issues I have with my back. You know, don't let anything bring you down or beat you down, because you can always come back from anything, as long as your mind is in the right place. So that's how I'm gonna be doing my cardio from now on. Um, it's pretty intense. Um, I wanna get up to being able to do five rounds non-stop. Um, one of the best ways to do cardio. I was only using an eight kilogram kettle, uh, kettlebell because of the issues in my spine. Um, I could have obviously gone heavier, but I need to be smart and pay a lot of attention to any like aches and pains I'm getting. So a slight tightness in my calf. Um, so with my spine, I've got my MRI scan coming up, but we, we seem to believe it is is it my nerve, which is the nerve to stick out of our spine and my one keeps rubbing and it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and there's not really much I can do when this happens apart from just sit down and ride it out and hope for the swelling to go down because the more movement I'm doing the more rubbing I'm doing to the nerve and the more damage I'm going to be doing so another reason why I'm trying to lose 10 kilos is just so I feel better in my health and everything else. But today, like I said, is a high carb day. Um, and I've decided what I want to eat. It's the most important thing. So, um, and I want to eat a box of fucking cereal. And I haven't had cereal in like a year. And even milk, I don't drink milk. Consumers aren't designed to drink cow's milk so they don't touch the stuff. But today, I'm gonna fucking drink some. So let's head to Tesco's and decide what shitty cereal I'm gonna eat today. So uh, some people strongly disagree with the way how I do ketogenic diet. Um, so I have a high carb day once a week and some people are like, well that's not keto because you're knocking yourself out of ketosis, which is, yeah, they're not wrong, but it's also good when you train at a high level. And um, obviously I'm not training that hard at the moment down to my injuries, but I'm still pushing it as hard as I can. And even if I have a high carb day tomorrow, I mean today, I will still feel great tomorrow. So my benefits don't really change. Um, so if I get knocked out of ketosis, I guarantee tomorrow I can still fast for 12 hours and have no issues with blood sugar dropping. Um, just what it means is tomorrow morning, as soon as I wake up, I'll be in the gym doing fastest cardio, which I do normally anyway. And by the evening, I should be back into a state of ketosis. If not, maybe Tuesday, I'll be back into a state of ketosis. You can normally tell um, how I go by telling. I don't do the whole peeing on the stick kind of crap because it's not really that effective. Just go with how you feel. Um, if I'm not hungry and my blood sugar is dropping and if I do feel hungry and I'm just drinking water and I feel full, I realize you know I'm getting the benefits and my blood sugar feels great. And also I've got a good MCT oil with C8s which also helps to produce ketones from the liver. And also you're human as well, so don't let anything overtake your life too much. Okay, you can still get that awesome benefits. And my food, obviously throughout the week, I'm eating like twice a day or three times a day. Okay, so it's still there. So it's still a cereal I'm gonna get. I think I found some. Yes. I'm gonna kill the whole box of these bad boys. And no fucking regret. Not the whole box. Jesus. But as you can see, high carb day is about to get destroyed. You know what? The time is 3.32. 
So I've been fasting all day as well. I feel good, a little bit lightheaded, which is fine. Um, and I don't drink milk. So I don't drink cow cow's milk, even though this is cow's milk, and I don't eat cereal. But today is the beautiful open this milk, beautiful high carb day. And I'm gonna go all out because I already feel like going all out and going crazy and just literally eating what I want because why not? Here we go, how much milk can we get in? What do you reckon? Can we do the whole thing? Mm, a little bit more. Yeah, we've got a little bit left over, which is cool. Okay, I'm gonna tuck into this bad boy. So, um, have a great Sunday, everyone. We'll see you in a bit. So the uh, whole box of cereal was fucking awesome. Let's carry on this high carb day. Um, I'm gonna head now to go grab a whole um, peri peri chicken. Um, yeah, there's not many carbs in the peri peri chicken, but I'm gonna grab super large fries. Um, like I said, it's a high carb day, but I don't like eating like stupid shit like refined sugars. Um, like I could be eating ice cream and donuts and cakes. But I do have a bit of cake to eat later, but only a small piece. I don't want to start eating loads of crap. So the whole peri peri chicken and large chips will satisfy me with some nice garlic mayonnaise. And if I'm still hungry after that, there's a really nice burger place in the town centre. Which, if I'm not in a car coma by then, I might take a trek there and get that as well. And then after that, that should be it. Then tomorrow, we'll be straight to the gym for faster cardio and straight back to being ketogenic so i'm experimenting with everything to do with this so hopefully like i said by tomorrow i should be back into ketosis in the evening if not it is what it is but if i feel good and i'm still getting good benefits and making progress and making good gains i'll do the same thing again next sunday as well awesome so here we have a whole peri peri chicken and a large fries. Does this even seem like a whole chicken? Hmm, seems a bit smaller than normal. But we'll see. Let's hope for the best. Okay, let's uh, bring on this hard quiet day. And it's such a beautiful day today. If it's still nice tomorrow, I think I might go do some photography. All right, guys, I'm gonna tuck into this beautiful food. So it's time for me to do a vlog out. But before I do, and my last meal on this amazing, what went from being a carb up today to being kind of a cheap meal. I eat, I've been eating everything I wanted to eat today. Um, and then obviously tomorrow morning, I'll be back on eating my normal diet. Um, so I'm probably gonna fast for the first, oh shit, few hours. And I've just made a mess. Um, so my last meal, I went to the worst place I could possibly go on earth. Um, the worst place with the worst food, but I will show you. I went to this place, McDonald's. Okay, so I got this new New Yorker. Um, it's New Yorker, all great taste of America. Um, two double cheeseburgers and some large chips. Um, not very good, but it's cheat day. So once a week, I'm gonna allow myself to eat whatever I want, and if I have any bad like. Um, results from this where I'm not looking good I'm uh, not making great results obviously I can't train properly at the moment uh, but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but I'm feeling optimistic and positive it's good to have a cheat meal it's good for your brain you know it's good to feel great anyway I'm gonna vlog out so take it easy guys this is the first video of my road to recovery I hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a comment peace out love and I'll see you guys in the next video